Hello and welcome to the tutorial. Today I'd like to talk about a technique um, that will allow you to create background loops, abstract background loops like this here and uh, I think it's called a spirographic background or something like that. And uh, let's just jump into Cinema 4D. Right, here in Cinema 4D we're going to start with um, we're going to start by drawing a spline first. Let's go to the front view, grab the spline tool and just draw a S-curve spline. Something like this. Uh, make a new rectangle spline and let's drop both of those into uh, the sweep nodes to a sweep nodes object. So we have to adjust it a little bit. Let's make the rectangle pretty small like 2 by 2. I'm going to use a rectangle spline for the profile because it's less geometry to be uh, calculated later on. Let's go to the front view, give it a material so you can see much better what's going on here. Just going to make it red like so. And let's go to the details of our uh, sweep nerves. Scale it down in the front and in the end. So just a taper effect. So you have something like this. Maybe you can bring down the, uh, the angle here to 2 so it's a little bit smoother. Now we're going to drop everything into a uh, cloner, just like so, and we're going to adjust the cloner a bit. So let me drag it out here. Instead of using the Y position, we're going to use the Z position. Set it to 5 maybe, and increase count to something like 100. And then you're going to scale down the clones by 99. So it's just like this, and maybe you can just play around with the uh, with the rotation. So everything is just about experimenting, you know. It's, there's no right or wrong. So I will just show you some basic uh, steps, and later on you will you just have to play around with all the settings, and you will uh, see how it works. So this is our starting geometry or starting object. So now we're going to add um, a time effector and once the time effector is applied you have an instant rotation well that by itself is pretty useful you can make it uh, a loop if you increase um, the uh, count. No, oh, no, sorry, it's 200, I think. No. Normally, I'm going to work with 25 uh, frames per second. And if you set your project to 200 frames, you will have. Uh, and you set your project to 200 frames, and you are using a rotation of 90 degrees you will have a proper loop at frame 200. So let's play back. So, but you can get rid of the last frame because it's you know it's just double the last and the first frame so let's type in 199. So that will be a very smooth loop now we can add more rotation if you want like uh, 45 degree on the uh, P on the pitch and uh, maybe minus 90 well it's not too bad just play around with the settings and
Okay, so let's add um, another effector, uh, the step effector. Bring it down here into the slot and play around with the settings. Let's make it maybe like so. Change the rotation. Just go mad. Try something. Well, and that's pretty much it, you know, you just have to render out, route out the result. Yeah. And, of course, you can try to use um, the sketch and tune or the hair render to render out your spline, because we have just have a spline uh, that's the base of our animation here. But I like to use the uh, sweep nerves because you can just, you know, play around with the end growth the start growth and create something like this well well folks that's basically that's it you just have to add a camera and render that stuff out and hope it's useful and you know how to create uh, background loops bye bye